You can show your love this Valentine's Day with a sweet treat that comes from the heart. Food Network star and Kentucky native Jason Smith shows us how to make his quick and easy kiss cookies. And I'm telling you, these kiss cookies I'm going to be showing you today, when you make them, honey, you're going to be giving them to everybody, and everybody's going to want to give you a kiss because they are that good, honey, darling. So, you know, one of those recipes is super easy that I like to make, and, you know, I like to do them easy, Jennifer, so you can make them too, sugar, because you've got to be you got to make your cookies too. So anyway, I love these cookies because they start with a box cake mix. That's right, you heard me right, honey. And there's nothing wrong with a box cake mix because everything is measured for you. So you just take a strawberry cake mix. Now, if you don't like strawberry, honey, you can use lemon, you can use chocolate, you can use whatever flavor you want. But since it's Valentine's Day, I love to use strawberry. So it's one box cake mix a half a cup of melted butter, one egg, or like Granny used to call it a hen fruit. You know what a hen fruit is? I do not. And then we have some, <laughs> well, yeah, honey, everybody knows what a hen fruit is. And then we've got some vanilla, and we also have some strawberry extract or strawberry emulsion flavor to put right up in there. And that just bumps that strawberry flavor up. And then all you do is just mix it up together and the good thing about this recipe, Jennifer, is it's got cream cheese in it. Do you know what cream cheese does for these cookies? Well, honey, I'm going to tell you. It makes them super soft. It makes them very moist and keeps them very soft. Honey, they'll be soft for days when you make these cookies. And so you just keep mixing. And then about halfway through, you want to add your softened cream cheese to it. Now, honey, in the South, we love us some good cream cheese. Cream cheese and mayonnaise, but we ain't putting no mayonnaise up in our cookies today, just cream cheese. Cream cheese makes it's everything just, better. Yes, cream cheese makes everything better. So once you get it all mixed up, it just looks like that, comes together, looks like cake batter. You put it in the refrigerator and let it set for about 20 or 30 minutes. Now, I have one that's already set up, but honey, as we say, magic television. <laughs> and so what you want to do is super easy, honey. Listen, this right here, you'll be making these all day. You just take a cookie scoop and get you a little bit of that cookie dough, and you drop it into some just white sugar, or you can get the sanding sugar that's colored, like red or pink or purple or whatever you want it to be and you just place them right on your cookie sheet. You just roll it right around in that sugar, and this just gives it a beautiful luster after it's baked. It makes them sparkle, kind of like me. You know, I wore this jacket today because it's, it's Valentine's Day, honey, and I love to sparkle, so why not have a little sparkle with your cookies? So once you get all of your cookies on there and sugared, you put them in the oven and bake them, and then when you bring them out, you bake them for about 10, 12 minutes, not real long, because you want them not to turn any color. And then when they come out, you take your Hershey Kiss, and I use a dark chocolate Hershey Kiss, because I love me some good dark chocolate, honey, with my strawberries. And so this is almost like a chocolate covered strawberry. And you just mash those kisses right down into those baked cookies. And honey, after they set, look, that's what they look like. Look, honey, look at that. Listen, they're just this soft, look. Oh, Lord, look at that, honey. Just to stop, listen. Oh, mm, mm, oh, Lord. Mm. Listen, I'm telling you, you're going to fall in love with my kiss cookies for Valentine's Day because, honey, they're going to put the love in everything. You know, it's just like it's just like Valentine's Day. I put a lot of love into my cooking, so you all know they're going to be good. I love the jacket. It's got the bling. Southern Country bling is full of great recipes. So you're always up to something new. What's your latest project that you're working on right now? And where can people get well, all of your recipes? Well, honey, they can get this great recipe and all my great recipes on southerncountrybling.com. And honey, have we got a treat for you because next month in March, and I'm hoping we're gonna announce it right here on Best of Bluegrass, I have a brand new candle line that's hitting the market. And honey, listen, that first candle that's coming out, you're going to love it because it's bacon, butter, and bourbon. That's right. You heard me, honey. You're not only going to get to eat it in your house, you're going to get to smell it, too. So be on the lookout for that in March. And, honey, we have worked very hard on this candle line, and I can't wait for you all to see it.